And okay, this is uh, something I found real quick. That I found real quick that I noticed I could just tell after that. Just have stuff uh, for you. Hate when I can't get content to you, so Mm-hmm. All right. So as you can tell, you're you're like track running right here. Look how oh wow, that's it. At this point, yeah, you're like you're running like you're track running. At this point, you ran. That's well, it's just kind of. I guess you got really late about there, so it'd be about one step, two steps, three steps, four, five, six. And this one's way too long. If you're gonna have your steps um, this this spread out. You, um, you really, really have to make sure you shorten up your uh, stride um, and uh, stay at least shoulder width, a little bit within shoulder width. Uh, I'll show it again. Um, right here. So you'll, what, you'll see the uh, one before you lunge when I say you look like you're running track. Um, that's not how the kickoff should be approached. It, it right off the bat, sorry about that. Right off the bat, you shouldn't be at uh, like almost top speeds. I mean, when you're starting right here, you're like, okay, I'm about to take a step, lunge, and hit. Like, but look at your. Distance. At this point, like you're, this, like this is pretty decent, like a de decent approach. But you're just a little bit too far deep because it could either be you could either fix you have to fix your strides to make those pretty much perfectly if you want to use this kickoff system, or you're gonna have to shorten it. Uh, I believe. Um, Moving on to, to that lunge. <clears throat> we'll go back here. And you'll see this step. Okay, so we're going to put... This much in between the step. Let's see this one and you gotta have a good positioning that's a, a good position you gotta have a good position you have to have great positioning to literally make sure you do not lunge make sure you do not misplace your steps make sure you do not um, uh, miscalculate them make sure you do not misstep make sure you do not do anything uh, like that so going on Too fast. So this. Okay, so as you can see, this step, as I pointed out, the uh, distance of it, and the next one's going to be a lunge. I'm pretty sure is the lunge one, and we'll check distances. Yeah, it looks like you're really going for it way too much right now. I hope you can even see it now that I pointed it out. So, we're going. Your next one. Boom. 
Like, this is your toe out here. On this one, your knee was right here. Your toe was... Uh -huh, this is your toe. You could tell, you could tell the miss, the messed up. You could even, it looks like you jumped or hopped a little bit more than your other ones. You could tell so easily. Okay, decent step. Ooh. Boom. And you weren't even at, you started at a high pace and slowed down a little bit, yeah. You need to, um, really recalculate your, um, distance. This is not that bad. It's too slanted, just like I was at the beginning of my career, but... It's too slanted. As you can see, you're relying on your plant foot. That thing has to be deep every single time. If you're going to be going this far off. Or taking your body that way because you're then taking away some of your momentum and power if you were able to direct it, direct it completely straight. If you're able to learn to do so. If you'd like to, just, uh, I'll, I'll get out with that. Alright, so. We're on the lunge, okay. Lunge. <clears throat> You're at a different pace again. And then you're having to try to speed up right now in this. So if you watch yourself before. Just jogging. That jogging and then that big lunge. And then instantly you have to, oh, you turn on right there. You turn on right there. No, 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 no. You need to be turning on here. Because you won't be running from all the way out. Uh, yonder. Uh, try, try like a... Uh, try maybe like a... Like a 5.6. A 5.7. Uh... So, going on. Of course, I'm not going to be able to break down everything in this video all in one sec. So, you're now hurried. You got yourself in a crazy, uh, you're, you must be really flexible or hypermobile because look how much you see now. Now you can even see it. It's all about your hips and core placement. You can even see it right here. Look at your, like, you're approaching the ball right here, man. You think, you're, you think your body should look like, like, you're taking away power, so much of it. You're taking away almost all of this plant foot's torque. True, man. Yeah. And it could be, you're, it's pretty good already. It could be a lot better. So I'm, I, I really hope you see that. Like your knee is almost like coming in. As you can see, your left hip is straight up going that way with your body. Uh, because that's where you're uh, leaning towards. Same with your um, your guiding arm. It's down. It's downwards. And with four thirty-four left, Cole Cormier tees it up. In the rain, baby, out of it. And with 4.34 left, Cole Cormier tees it up. In the rain, baby, out of it.
And with 434 left, Cole Cormier tees it up. In the rain, baby, out of it. And with 434 